Hi, my name is Hishram Clifford, and this is my Philosophy 1101 final project. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Hish, and welcome to this video about philosophy. Today we'll be exploring what philosophy is, and some of its major branches. We'll also be hearing from some experts in the field on discussing their perspectives on these important topics. Let's begin. Section 1. What is philosophy? What is philosophy? In essence, philosophy is the study of fundamental questions about existence, knowledge, and morality. It is a discipline that tries to answer the big questions that have puzzled people for centuries. But what exactly are these questions? To answer that, we need to dive into some of philosophy's major branches. Section 2. Metaphysics. Let's start with metaphysics. This is the branch of philosophy that deals with the nature of reality. It asks questions like, what exists? What is the nature of the universe? To help us explore these questions, let's hear from Dr. Smith, a philosopher who specializes in metaphysics. Metaphysics is the study of the ultimate nature of reality. It's concerned with questions about what exists and what things are fundamentally made of. One of the classic debates in metaphysics is the nature of time. Is time a real thing, or is it just a human invention? Thank you, Dr. Smith. So as we can see, metaphysics is concerned with some pretty fundamental questions about the nature of the universe. Section 3. Ethics. Next up is ethics. This is the branch of philosophy that deals with questions of right and wrong. It asks questions like, what is the good life? How should we treat others? To help us explore these questions, let's hear from Professor Johnson, a philosopher who specializes in ethics. Ah, uh, yes, um, yes, Professor Johnson, here, ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> ethics is concerned with how we should live our lives. Mm. Uh, it's about figuring out what the right thing to do is in any given situation. Mm. Uh, one of the classic debates in ethics is the difference between consequentialists and deconontological ethics. <clears throat> consequentialists believe that the morality mm, of an action is determined by its consequences. Wow. Deontologists <clears throat> believe that there is a certain moral rules that we should always follow. <clears throat> Regardless of the consequences. Thank you, Professor Johnson. So as we can see, ethics is all about figuring out what is right and what is wrong, and how we should live our lives. Section 4. Human Nature. Another major branch of philosophy is human nature. This is the branch of philosophy that deals with questions about what it means to be human. It asks questions like, what are the characteristics that define human beings? To help us explore these questions, let's hear from Dr. Lee, a philosopher who specializes in human nature. Oh, hello, Hish. Human nature is all about understanding what it means to be human. It's about figuring out what makes us unique and what defines us as a species. One of the classic debates in human nature is the question whether humans are naturally good or bad. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Lee. So as we can see, human nature is concerned with some pretty vague questions about what it means to be human. Section 5. Political Philosophy. Next up is Political Philosophy. This is a branch of philosophy that deals with questions about how we should organize society. It asks questions like, what is the role of the state? To help us explore these questions, let's hear from Professor Patel, a philosopher who specializes in political philosophy. Oh, dude, Professor Patel here. Yeah, political philosophy is all about figuring out how we should organize society. It's about figuring out what the role of the state should be and how we should distribute resources. One of the classic debates in political philosophy is the difference between liberalism and socialism. Thank you, Professor Patel. Very uh, insightful. While our panel of experts all have 
significant knowledge in terms of the areas of expertise that they represent in the various philosophical disciplines. I think it's also important that I provide my own perspective and answer the question of what is philosophy. To me, it all comes down to the why. Regardless of what particular discipline of philosophy we study and look at and what we've gone through in our class so far, the question that always I the question I always try to answer is the why behind that particular discipline, or even in our class's case, the why behind the film that we watched. Hopefully this can provide some insight and some understandings to what I took away from this course thus far. And it can answer the question of what is philosophy. Thank you.